Hey guys, Katie from the Katie Show blog here and I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's for the first time. I'm actually here right now in the car park, but I wanted to do, before I see it, before I walk in, I wanted to do like my first um, impressions or like the vibe I get from it just from how I see people talk about it, right? Totally uneducated opinions and then see if it's like what I think once I've actually been in there. So again, completely uneducated, just based on like how I hear people talk about it and the type of people that love it and things like that. Here's what I think it's going to be like. So I think it's going to be just like Whole Foods. Whole Foods, um, Sprouts, Harris Teeter, those type of grocery stores. That's basically what I'm expecting, but at a higher price point, maybe in the Whole Foods range of price points. Um, I think it's going to be... I think it's gonna be a lot of like crunchy organic stuff, that kind of hippie type products, um, very natural, very organic, marketed towards the crunchy type of people and also people whose disposable income is such that they don't have to worry about the fact that uh, you can get the exact same stuff for cheaper uh, at other stores or online. Like the people that are too good for Walmart, you know what I mean? Uh, so. I'm thinking it's gonna be those type of people, those type of products and that type of vibe. I think maybe like a little overrated because I feel like yeah, I, the whole time I'm gonna think, yeah, but you can get that cheap elsewhere or that's just like a rip off. But we'll see because I do love that crunchy Whole Foods type stuff. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to film going there because I know so many people love it and it's such a cult-like following. Like uh, people talk about Trader Joe's like I hear how you talk about it and people talk about it like I talk about Steve Irwin you know you guys bloody love it and I bloody love Steve Irwin um but yeah I wanted to see it because there's been so many like uh, uh I wanted to film it because there's been so many first times since living in America and even Italy and all that uh first time experiences that I've had and that I never filmed and I kind of wished I had those initial reactions and that the experience is documented so we're gonna see what Trader Joe's is all about, see if it's worth the hype. Also, I just really wanted to come here because I wanted to see what it's all about because it's in like so many YouTube videos. Uh, if I'm watching like a meal prep plan type video, everyone's like, oh, my Trader Joe's grocery haul and things like that. So like, I just want to know why you're going here and not to other grocery stores. I'm so curious. And I'm probably not gonna film talking to the camera inside there because I've seen so many YouTube videos of like my Trader Joe's grocery hauls and things like that uh, and they get asked to stop filming in um, while they're in the store and that's pretty embarrassing. I've been asked to stop filming in places before. It's embarrassing, I don't like it. So I might try and get some sneaky videos on my phone just to show people back home if you haven't been there. Uh, what it's like and then we'll just come back and talk afterwards and other than that let's see what it's all about my eyes I was hiking before this and I'm starting to get tired but made it did my first Trader Joe's experience and there was like a juice shop like a couple of stores down so I got a cool little juice for the drive home but if it pleases the audience I would like to show you what I got after I get home because I have like an hour and a half drive back and I have perishables now so I kind of want to get them uh, in the fridge as soon as possible in case there's any traffic that I hit unexpectedly as it gets closer to knock off time from work so I'll see you again when we get home <music> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Right, I made it back from Trader Joe's. I'm glad I waited till I got here to show you everything because the traffic was already building and there was already a crash on the highway. So it took a little longer than expected. I want to show you the cold stuff so I can put it away really fast and then get into the rest. So the cold stuff I got was first a box of zucchini spirals. I really just got that because I needed to keep um, this burrito. <laughs> Where's the label? Um, this burrito cold, so I wanted it to have something frozen to sit on. Um, but yeah, I got this Canitas burrito for dinner because when I was there, I realized I had nothing out for dinner. So I'm gonna have that burrito. And then I got this like vegetable medley of asparagus, mushrooms, and onion. Um, so that looked like a pretty cool thing. So I can make a fast dinner later when I'm trying to edit this video. So let me put that away and then I'll come back. So here's the thing. I thought I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, be a little bit skeptical because I figured everything was gonna be overpriced. Uh, and then I was gonna go in there and I thought I would just fall in love and understand the cult-like following that it has and, and why everyone loves it. I didn't have that experience. Honestly, when I first went in, it was giving me anxiety because it's like, it's not organized in like structured aisles. You know what I mean? There would be like, seafood in one section with like crackers and stuff on the top of it and like pasta with just like other jars of stuff on top so there wasn't like a good system to follow and like i just that gives me anxiety i don't really love that i like structure and organization and things like that so that was the first thing that was like oh man i'm not really loving this it took me like a couple of laps to figure out things and like make sure i didn't miss anything and then i would say it's like cool for some fun snacks but there wasn't really anything amazing i still think harris teeter is way better hashtag sorry not sorry i know this has a cult like following and that's probably gonna offend some people uh, i don't mean to offend you i just didn't fall in love with it the way i thought i would um it just it was like uh having a lot of stuff with their own brand like i assume they're making it like there was like trader joe's version of peanut butter and almond butter and so they had a, a few cool things and different snacks and I'm excited to try it, but it wasn't like amazing. It didn't blow my socks off or anything, but um, it was cool. I would just go there every once in a while to try some new things, but that's about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever do my groceries there. So I do want to show you what I got though. It's a bit funny because like when I'm traveling, I'll try anything like blood sausage sure haggis no worries you know like whatever there was a lot of stuff in egypt i just didn't ask uh but i'll just try whatever's there uh but when i'm at home when i'm doing my groceries i don't really like you know i'm not really adventurous i don't really uh like change <laughs> i tend to stick to what i know is good so i'm like two completely different people whether i'm traveling or at home and I'm trying to push myself this year to like try different foods and, and be a little more adventurous even when I'm at home. And what's funny is, so the first thing I got was dark chocolate pretzels. The second thing I got, dark chocolate rice tins. And I was like, well, that's all I really need. I'll just go. And I was like, uh, Katie, are you really trying new things if you just got chocolate things that you know are probably going to be good like come on you have to try some different things so i got these i think these are going to be cool i have a trip coming up that i'll need to take some snacks for so i'm excited to have those these just look like a good like after a workout if it's not like lunchtime yet so they look fun and i like chocolate anything so like i have high hopes for them oh yeah <laughs> and i had these as well <laughs> Chocolate coconut almonds. They look pretty legit. I love coconut, I love chocolate. But yeah, I was like, uh, okay, you just got three chocolate things. You're not really trying anything new. Snap out of it. So then, I found these. <laughs> Pickle flavored popcorn. I don't really know what to think about that. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but it gave me that feeling of like, oh, I don't know about this. And that's exactly why I got it. So like, I didn't really like pickles that much, but we will see. And the other thing I got was some soap. I actually just ran out this morning, so that saves me a trip to Walmart. And also give us some spray on moisturizer. I was thinking of getting some, uh, just to like spray on my legs before I go out. But when you're doing like a full 
heavy moisturizer on, you know, because it's the middle of the day and it's 3 million degrees with 3 million percent humidity here. Um, so it's find something light so I'm not scaly Jafar at the end of Aladdin, but you know, also not like ugh, melting. Is there a scene in a Aladdin I can relate to where something melts? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got, I found this like watermelon, it's a face spray, but I'm just going to use it on my legs and see if that's nice. It's meant to be like a refreshing, um, facial mist, but yeah, I'm going to use that sometimes so I don't have, uh, scaly gross legs. And that's all I got. So I got my dinner, <laughs> some zucchini noodles, and then just some like snacks and random stuff. But it was pretty fun. I'm really glad I went there. Uh, even though it wasn't like, it wouldn't be somewhere that I'll go to regularly. It's still fun to try new things and it's still fun to like just experience. Now I get what everyone's talking about when they talk about Trader Joe's and all these YouTube videos I watch and it's just fun to experience everything here. So that's it. Just wanted to share it with you. If you like this video, don't forget to tell YouTube you like the video by hitting the thumbs up button, leave a comment, tell me what your favorite things at Trader Joe's are. Maybe next time I will go and uh, check it out. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Really helps me grow my channel, helps with the algorithm, and helps me have the ability to share more videos and more adventures with you. But other than that, I will see you next time. Bye.